In this presentation, we'll be going over how you can overcome self-limiting beliefs. Let's begin by saying that yes, having these are completely normal. The reality is that when we set goals that we want to accomplish, we feel that we can't do them. We fear failure. We fear that we're going to make so many mistakes. We feel that we're not good enough. You hear this every single time, and it's important to know that self-limiting beliefs are temporary. They can be eliminated over a period of time. If you're dealing with self-limiting beliefs and want to overcome them fast, this presentation will be something worth checking out. So let's dive in. First, it's important to understand what self-limiting beliefs are. They are these thoughts and convictions that are embedded in our minds. They're so deep in our minds that they might be hard to get rid of. These usually are built on past experiences, the beliefs of others, and even the fear of failure itself. Speaking of which, let's segue into the list of common self-limiting beliefs. The first one being fear of failure. We're afraid that if we fail, that's it. We feel that it's the end of the world, it's over, and we'll never achieve a goal. That couldn't be further from the truth if we tried. Another thing to be aware of is that setbacks should not be mistaken as failures. It's only failure when you decide to give up. View setbacks as a learning experience. Discuss what you can do in the future to limit the amount of setbacks to occur. The next self-limiting belief is perfectionism. Needless to say, nothing has to be perfect. It should be satisfactory. I know people strive for something that is perfect and flawless, even on the first attempt. But this will cause us to stress out and get more frustrated. So you should consider the idea of accepting that not everything needs to be perfect. Don't aim for perfection. Make the attempt and follow the process. If you make mistakes, no need to fuss. Take it as a learning process and apply it going forward. Another self-limiting belief is having a lack of support. You have a support system that consists of the people you can trust most. You have plenty of support from your friends, family, mentors, and all sorts of important people. So remind yourself that there are people that believe in you, even if you think that's not the case. The final limiting belief that is common is not being good enough. You've probably heard things like you're not strong enough, talented enough, and so on. The truth is that we feel bad about ourselves if we believe in these self-limiting beliefs like not being enough. But you are good enough at doing something. If you don't feel enough, find ways to become that. If you're not skilled enough at something, learn those skills. If you're not good enough at something, find ways to better yourself at it. It may seem like a time-intensive process, but if you stick with being better enough at something, that limiting belief will be gone. That will do it for this presentation. We appreciate you for checking this out. You now have the ideas on how to beat the common self-limiting beliefs. As long as you nip them in the bud and look at the positive over the negative, these limited beliefs will be a thing of the past. Thanks for checking out this presentation. We'll see you next time. Enjoy your day. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.